Recently, a new project was published that converts a Jupyter notebook into an Excel spreadsheet. A quick demo and my initial reaction coming up next. There was an interesting article that was published recently about how Jupyter is the new Excel. And this was really timely because personally, I'm not in data science proper. I work in a finance group in an accounting firm, but I'm using Jupyter notebooks all the time and applying data science and machine learning to my work more and more. And then I see this article responding to that one, which essentially says, yes, it's true. Jupyter is the new Excel, but not for your boss. Your boss is still way more comfortable in Excel. Oh, and by the way, here's a new project that will convert your notebook to Excel. I absolutely love this idea, so I'm going to demo the project and give you my initial thoughts. Let's go. First, I downloaded a Jupyter Notebook, which I've linked in the video description. I was looking for something that would include a few Pandas data frames and some visualizations that could really test the capabilities of this project. Next, I installed the nb2xls package using pip by typing pip install nb2xls in the command prompt. I then opened up the project with Jupyter Lab. Now let's see how this works. As you can see, this will provide lots of interesting challenges for Jupyter to Excel conversion with the charts and graphs, data frames, etc. But we'll see how it goes. Converting this notebook is pretty straightforward. Navigate to File, then Export Notebook As, then click Export Notebook as XLS. You'll see the file exported below. It will probably show up in your downloads folder if you're using Chrome. Double click the file and let's see what we've got. Okay, as I scroll down, it looks like it's done a pretty good job of transferring everything over. Even the markup headers come through decently. All of the charts were converted to images and inserted. One thing that I don't like, which is really more of a nuisance, is that the image is inserted into a single cell, which makes the page jump up and down as you're scrolling. This could potentially cause some frustration to an end user. One way to fix this is to insert additional rows to make the scrolling easier and more enjoyable. However, you'll want to take this user experience into consideration whenever delivering this to your client or end user. The data frames come through great. Some of the series exported a little awkwardly with a label and number showing up in the same cell. You can fix this uh, with the data text to column split using fixed width settings. Okay, just a few more things to see. But first, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Let's keep going. So what I did is I took the raw dump from NB to XLS and spent about 10 minutes cleaning it up. Overall, it looks pretty nice. NB to XLS gives you a very nice starting position. And then with a few tweaks, you have a very nice looking Excel document that you can forward to your boss. You can actually do this from the command prompt as well. Type in Jupyter NB convert dash to XLS and then the name of the notebook. In my case, I'm going to type in test dash notebook dot IP pi ynb. This will export the file to the same directory as the notebook. This is a brand new library and, and it's an alpha version, so you wouldn't expect everything to be perfectly polished. There are some tweaks that could make this a very nice tool, such as the items I pointed out in the demo. However, if you need to get your notebook into Excel for whatever reason, this is actually a great tool, even in alpha stage, and I expect this is going to continue to improve. Please check the video description for links to all relevant articles and libraries mentioned in this video. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you, so please leave those in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for future content.